and we don't need to be so concerned about how people receive our message that mm-hmm. we're constantly apologizing yeah. for it and uh, trying to position it so that nobody will misunderstand us. Yeah. And one of the examples I used was Jesus, who was, you know, they said, Moses brought down manna. Can you produce manna? And he said, I am the manna. You yeah. have to eat me to live. They thought he was speaking of cannibalism. Yeah. Today, most ministers would fall all over themselves, hurt themselves, trying to apologize and, oh, yeah. please don't misunderstand. Instead, he just said, look, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no <laughs> life in you. He made it worse. Yeah. 5,000 people left him and he didn't even, it didn't even phase him. I think yeah. that was one of his greatest moments. Mm-hmm. And yet he did not explain himself. He just said, those who are of God will understand what I'm saying mm-hmm. and stuff. And so I think that we can get so concerned about people misunderstanding what we're saying that we actually blunt the message that we're saying yeah. because we're so worried about how it's going to be perceived. And I, I think that's wrong too. So there's a ditch on both sides of the road. Yeah. It, um, uh, uh, trying to grow and mature in, in my communication and communicating the word of God, I look at Jesus and on the one level, I mean, he's just a master communicator, but on another level, according to whatever modern standards are applied, he's a terrible communicator. He leaves people confused. Uh, he intentionally messes with them with uh, open-ended questions. Yep. Uh, he tells stories that, like, you think you understand, and then when you actually understand it, you realize he's poking you in ways. There's the, <laughs> there's the one about the vineyard, and they said when they discerned, he was talking about yep. them. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I feel better about myself if people might be a little confused. Or Your upset. heart has to be right. Yeah. And we need to grow in our ability to communicate. But if you get to where, regardless of what you meant and how you meant it, they're going to parse your words and take yeah. it apart. And you get to where you're afraid to say anything because it might be uh, twisted. Well, then they win. Yeah. You self-censor. Yeah. You aren't going to speak the truth because you're so afraid of what people are going to say. Yeah. 